Hey friends, welcome to my first ever video where I'm actually speaking. I've had this YouTube channel for a while now, and I'd really like to start being more actively involved on it and within the community. Over the years, things have changed, and I'd really love to make tutorial videos as they relate to comic art or drawing character in general. And I'd also like to give you guys some art tips that I've picked up in my life. I remember when I was a kid, I enjoyed watching tutorials all the time, especially when I was learning how to draw digitally. I'm sure a lot of you have experienced the challenge of switching to drawing with a Wacom tablet instead of a pencil and paper, and you probably know how hard it was to switch over to digital art. The other day I was just thinking about how I've been drawing digitally on a regular basis for almost 10 years now. Wow. I mean, first of all, I thought, damn, I'm old. <laughs> but really, the thought of drawing traditionally again seems a little bit daunting. But I think I'll get back into it someday. Anyway, back to the topic of today's video. I'd like to share some tips that I have relating to your artwork and your mindset when it comes to creating. As an artist, I know all too well how easy it is to beat up on ourselves when our artwork isn't getting noticed, or when a drawing just isn't working out. I know that some of you are beginner artists, just starting to get into the art world, <laughs> and that can also be a frustrating ordeal. It can be easy to just want to throw your Wacom tablet, or whatever you draw with, <laughs> at the wall and never want to draw again. Well, you're definitely not alone. The path of an artist is a fulfilling one, but that doesn't mean that the path doesn't come with bumps and snags along the way. Not to sound cheesy, but art really is about the journey, because you learn so much along the way, and honestly, your artwork is a constant work in progress. In the past, I had always wanted to reach that quote-unquote end goal and have my artwork look perfect by my standards, and be noticed by a lot of people, of course. <laughs> but I'm genuinely happy with where I am right now, and I find myself at peace with that. Anyway, I hope these tips can help you to take a step back and see that it's all good and that even though it's the artist's known inclination to be nitpicky and a perfectionist, you definitely don't have to add that stress onto your life. <laughs> oh, and before I begin, I'm currently drawing a horoscope pinup series and I'm featuring a painting time-lapse of Pisces today. I wanted to incorporate the mermaid trend into this horoscope since I've always pictured the Pisces sign as being a mermaid. Okay, so number one is a big one. And that's trying not to draw something just so that it gets a ton of likes or comments on social media. This one is tough. I think a lot of artists feel discouraged when they post drawings of their character art or fan art from a series they love, and they don't get as much interaction on those posts. Here's the thing. While yes, trends like the Sailor Moon Challenge or Six Fan Arts Challenge will get you a decent amount of attention, they're just trends. Now, if you love drawing trends all the time, and that's your thing, absolutely go for it. In fact, as I just mentioned, <laughs> I'm working on some artwork for the hashtag mermaid trend, but that's because it's interesting and fun for me to do. What I'm talking about is laboriously hopping onto these bandwagons and burning out because you're drawing for the trend and not necessarily for yourself. For me personally, I like mixing things up a bit. So it's usually a mix between hopping on board with some trends and getting back to my regular pinup art. So basically what I'm saying here is draw for yourself and enjoy what you draw and you will build an audience that loves your work and one that looks forward to seeing more of it. Might seem impossible or super slow or like it will never work out that way, especially if you've been at it for a long time. But as I said earlier, it's the journey and no matter how slow it might be, you'll get there. Just remember to follow what makes you happy. All right, on to tip number two. This one can go a little bit hand in hand with my first point. And that is not allowing criticism to get to you. I know that we are all very attached to our styles and our art, and so it's really difficult to hear or see not so pleasant comments about our work. First of all, I'd like to clarify the difference between a critique and someone just being a jerk. Critiques are well thought out constructive criticisms that people have about your artwork. They're helpful because other people can see certain issues within our work that we might not be able to see. Constructive feedback is a great thing, it helps you learn and become better at your craft. Now, this point is a bit more directed at negative comments that sometimes can be made about your artwork that aren't helpful and are meant to be cruel. You'll hear this advice from every artist. You've just got to let those comments roll off your back. I know, I'm a sensitive person and seeing those comments can be hurtful, but you'll have so much more peace of mind if you just ignore those comments and continue doing what you like to do. The truth is, not everybody is going to like your artwork, and that's okay. If you let those nasty commenters sink their claws into you, it's going to be easy to want to give up as an artist. Just let them go and continue doing you.
Number three is a more practical approach to take when you are feeling upset and overwhelmed about a drawing or project that just isn't turning out. I've had times where I just cannot draw a hand the right way, or the face resembles Quasimodo. <laughs> and not gonna lie, it's frustrating. <laughs> it's pretty easy to just want to push through a drawing and make it into something better, because if you push hard enough, eventually you will get there, right? Well, I'm here to say that actually the opposite is true. By stepping back, literally, and taking a nice break away from a drawing, it helps clear your mind and get you into a more relaxed state of being. For me personally, some of my best work tends to come from a more relaxed state. You could walk away for 5 minutes, 30 minutes, even a whole day, and just do something else for a bit. My personal favorite is doing some yoga. <laughs> By relaxing your mind, you can come back to the drawing and be able to see where the errors are occurring. And you might just find that the drawing didn't even look bad at all in the first place, like you had thought. Taking breaks has helped me a lot, and in addition to calming down my frazzled little nerves, <laughs> it's helped me to be more efficient with my time on a drawing as well. So, those are my three tips on how to be a little nicer to yourself and to help change your mindset about your artwork. Just remember, our life and artwork plays out based on how we treat ourselves. When you are in a constant state of beating yourself up, you'll notice that negative things in life, even the smaller things, seem to weigh down hard on us, right? So why not take a first step and change this part of your outlook? See what happens. I know that when I did, I really began to appreciate myself and my art a lot more. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope the quarantine isn't getting too much to you guys. <laughs> it's finally getting nice out, so get outside and breathe in some of that almost summertime air. It's so nice out, oh my gosh. <laughs> finally, it's, I, I live in Michigan and it's just been like freezing ever since uh, I don't know, October, and it went all the way to the end of April this year. <sighs> I guess that's what I get for living up north, but still, I'm just really happy that it's nice out now. Okay, <laughs> anyway, if you liked the video, please subscribe and tap like, as that helps me out a ton. Also, my Instagram is where I post all of my finished artwork for my videos, so I'll add that into the description below, if you'd like to check it out. Thanks, friends. Have a beautiful day. Peace!